Welcome students. Today we will study an important topic of geometry which is angle measurement. First, let us look at an angle and see the various parts of the angle. OA and OB. These are the two rays which form the arms of the angle. So OA is called one arm and OB is the other arm. And the point at which these two rays meet is called the vertex. Now don't get confused with the word vertex. Vertex is nothing but the corner. In geometry we call the corner the vertex. We have a vertex in an angle, in a triangle, in a square, in a rectangle. The corners are called vertex in geometry. We represent the angle by this symbol and we write angle AOB. Angle AOB presents this angle between the two rays. Now angles are of three types. We have acute angle, obtuse angle and right angle. Acute angle is any angle that is less than 90 degrees. 90 degrees angle would be a line perpendicular to the base ray. Now any angle that is greater than 90, 90 I told you is perpendicular to the base ray, is greater than that, that is on the left side, that would be obtuse angle. And right angle? Angle measuring 90 degrees is called right angle. Now, which is greater? Looking at these two angles, you can tell which angle is greater. Angle AOB is smaller and angle COD is greater than that. Now, if I ask you by how much is this angle greater, it is difficult to just tell by seeing. So, we need to measure it. Let us take one angle and use a protractor to measure it. So this is an angle. We will name the vertex O and the rays that form the arm as OA and OB. So we have to now measure angle AOB. To measure it, we will need a protractor. A protractor looks like this. We have to put this portion on the vertex and the base arm of the angle is exactly on this line right up till the end and while using the protractor make sure you can see the numbers and read them sometimes students put it in the reverse way here you cannot read the numbers you can make out what number it is but it is all showing in the reverse if this happens please turn it around and then place it on the angle make sure the vertex is right at the center at this point and make sure your base ray is aligning with this line from the vertex till the end. Now to read this we can see the top ray two readings are coinciding one is 40 degrees one is 140 degrees. Now we know it is an acute angle so we can just make a guess it has to be 40 degrees it will not be 140 degrees. Now I don't want my students to make a guess like this. You should know the concept. The concept behind this is our base ray is here and we are measuring the angle between these two rays. So we will start from 0 to 10, 20, 30 and 40. So the measure is 40 degrees angle. Here the other reading is 180 and it is decreasing. So this reading is not to be taken. We have to keep the base ray on 0. Since the 0 is in the inner circle, we will read the inner circle reading. So angle AOB is equal to 40 degrees. This small circle on top is the symbol of degrees. Now Let's take another example. Now This is an obtuse angle. It has to be more than 90 degrees. We take the protractor, put it on the vertex. Make sure the base ray aligns with the line on the protractor. Now here we have two readings, 40 and 140. Now look at the base ray of your angle. The zero is in the inner circle. So we will take the inner circle reading. Inner circle reading is 140. So the measure of angle AOB is equal to 140 degrees. In the two examples that we have just seen, the base ray is on the right of the vertex. So we are reading the inner circle reading. Let's suppose the base ray is on the left of the vertex. Now let us see what happens. We'll take the protractor, 
put it on the vertex. Now base ray is on the left of your vertex. So we will see the zero is on the outer circle here now. So we will read the outer circle reading. We can see here the ray is passing through a point between 40 and 45. So we will count the number of lines after 40 it is on the fifth line. So that makes it 45. So the angle AOB is 45 degrees. So we come to this conclusion students. If your base ray is on the right you will read the inner circle reading. And if your base ray is on the left, you will read the outer circle reading. You don't have to memorize this concept. Wherever is your baseline, pick up the zero from there and then start looking upwards. You will know what reading to read. Now, let us measure this angle AOB. We will take the protractor, put it on the vertex of this angle. Do make sure that line is aligning with the base ray right from the vertex till the reading point. Here we can see the ray is crossing the protractor at 90 degrees. So this angle is 90 degrees. It is a right angle. 